get the Kapu Kai! It's a daiquiri on steroids that only has a 151 as an alcohol. Right. No, no whole Hogan's. Nothing else. No ravishing roots. This what? is not no steroids involved in this drink. No. It's just a overproof rum. Just natural strength. In your face. Yeah. Help fund the Common Man Cocktails bar mat. We need to sell 50 to fund the project. Head over to awesomedrinks.com slash mat. Buy your mat, support the project, and be awesome. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Shaw. I've got with me Ian Andrews. We're making a cocktail today for you. Strange. Yeah. We never do that. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> the Kappa Kai Swizzle. Yeah, this is Kappa Kai Swizzle. This is a which, recipe. Which is tiki-ish, yes. not frat-ish. Because Kappa yeah, Kai yeah, makes yeah. me think of a Greek frat. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, because it's Kai it? in it. Yeah, right? And it's like something Kai, something right. Yeah, think of Karate Kid. What? Makes me think of Karate Kid. A Kai? No, Kai. <laughs> no, like Cobra, Cobra, Cobra Kai. Kai. Ah, yeah, there you go. There you See? Go. There's all kinds of Kais in here. <laughs> this is a Kapu Kai, re the recipe, the Kapu Kai Swizzle, is a recipe that I got off of bgreynolds.com. Because it's not on the back of the rich. It's not here. Nope. That would suck. That's the rule. Um, oh, I didn't see that. That's um, good. So I was searching for a recipe on BG Reynolds because I know he puts them on his blog. Yep. And I, I wanted something with passion fruit, but I, I saw this. I was like, they're going to do this. So this is BG Reynolds modified twist, swizzled, on Jeff Barry's book called The Grog Log. There's a recipe in there called Kabukai. So this is a little bit different. Is that Beach Bum? Beach Bum Berry, yep. This okay. is a little bit different than his recipe because it's. A swizzle, then it uses obviously, uh, yeah, syrup. Blair's rich demerara. So it's got three quarters of an ounce of lime sling, complete with sticker. Three quarters ounce of simple syrup, so equal parts of that, yep. and then a double portion of 151. So one and a half of this, three quarter of that, three quarter of that. You can think of it as a one to one to two if you want to think in ratios. It, it, or you can think of it as a really whacked out daiquiri. Yes, because a daiquiri has simple syrup, lime juice, and what rum? Rum. Yeah. It normally would have like a light rum. Um, light rum, yeah. Or you just overproof it and boom. You got the cap uh, swizzle. Yep. So we are going to see how this tastes for you today. I think it's going to be a little bit strong strong on your palate. Could be. Could be. Could be. <laughs> but we'll see. Oh, and you're going to also crush the ice. I've got the crushed ice. This is a Lewis bag. You can get these at ostrichdrakes.com. Or um, I was watching, uh, who was I watching? I was watching Small Screen Network, who's one of our partners. And he had a, it was a different recipe that swizzled and he didn't have a Lewis bag. Maybe I have to send him one. So Lewis bags are really important for crushing ice. And I just right. learned this because when you crush ice in a Lewis bag, it's canvas and it's going to absorb some of the water that's melting, right. you can which means it. it's keeping your ice dry, right. Cause the, which means you're not getting a lot of that right. runoff from the crushed ice in your drink, which is good because you put a lot of crushed ice in your drink, there's a lot of surface area, it's going to melt Too fast. Much. Right. And you end up You don't want to water your drink down. A very You'll end up with a very cold drink, but it's got to get cold quick because if it doesn't, the dilution is going to be way too high. So we're getting requests to do accents we just for did a whole accent. episode. I can't do a Boston accent the entire time. Well, pick your accent. Do German, man. The German, I don't... I, I Just because you can speak German doesn't mean you can speak with a German accent. <laughs> you just did. You don't even know that you did it. No, you did. I did. I did that on purpose. Because oh, okay. I was a German. German. And, and how they would pronounce their T's because the th sound isn't a German thing, so they don't have that th. th. So they have to do this because it's closer. You already got three quarters out of half ounce of uh, half. Yeah, of that's a good line that I bought. Oh, I bought a sexy plump line. Can I have? Never mind. It's already in here. So then, what we're gonna do? <laughs> Should we put this in first so we can no. swizzle? Okay. Only because no. Okay. <laughs> well, since you put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> because of reasons, you're gonna pack this little guy with a it's, lot of ice and then we're going to see want to sneak that in there now see if we see how it's already melting you can oh, yeah. see it falling down so swizzling you're just spinning right? no no sort of just keep going pack that shit in there bitch no sort of no right. yes like this no. that's what i was doing only with two fingers no but you have to do it this way okay and now my ice you have to do it with your hand yes you have to oh no oh no that's not cool Oh, and your hands are too busy. Oh, Sorry, buddy. bitch. Sorry, buddy. How'd that, how'd that treat me, guy? Well, guy, let pretty, me tell you what. Good? My ice is falling out because I put too much in there, guy. Oh, I want to just get it out. Normally, it... Oh! <laughs> so, I just... <laughs> At least oh, the shirt's not tucked in. That's a good thing. <laughs> So, no, don't put that there. No, I won't put that in my mouth accidentally. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> you should just be a dick. I should make you put it in your mouth. 
Wow, it's, it's so cold. Anybody who just tuned in there just got a preview of something porno-ish. That was a little bit of porno right there. <laughs> um, what you could do is you have them. Is a swizzle stick won't have. It'll have. It'll be stick with little spikies on the end. Mm. So it won't be so aggressive because this thing is just kicking the ice yeah, right yeah. out. Because but, it's got so much surface area yeah. at the bottom. Yeah. Now, s a smart guy like myself would sell them at also drinks. Like, I just never. I don't know anyone who sells swizzle sticks. Maybe we just need a straw. Oh wow. How about, oh, you want to think it's plastic because it's already full and we don't want to displace all the beverage. It's just 151. That's a straw right there. Call it. You want to lick it first? That way I can tell the difference? Yeah, that's great. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Which one is it now? Oh, shit. Well, I'll just watch the video and I'll come back. <laughs> it's the one that's not wet! <laughs> <laughs> hey, good call on the lick. That's pretty tasty, actually. It's really? strong, but it's... uh. Daiquiri tasty. I like it. Strong, right? But you like it. I like the Demerara flavor. Mmm. Guy. That is going to knock you on your face. Well, let's see. Yeah, it's wicked fucking good. <sighs> Dude. <laughs> so I could drink like a, a fucking ton of these things. Yeah. I don't think I could drink a fucking ton of those things. Well, maybe a ton. If a ton like was one. If a ton meant two, I'd right. be good. Dude, that... <laughs> Yeah, you, if you drink two of these, you are going to be on your face. Yes. On the ground, with ice in it. No, now look, there's an ounce and, and a half. Maybe you might fall out of your pants by accident. <laughs> you just, what? You just won't know what happened, but you'll wake up without pants. <laughs> that's, that's the result of this trip. That's what happens when you drink 151. Yes. We, we, which, notice as soon as I said that, he went and sucked up a whole bunch. <laughs> yeah. So How do I is, get my pants off? <laughs> here's the trick. <laughs> this drink... Normally, when I say you don't, you can substitute Take up. one thing for another, mm. this drink doesn't allow that type of power. Now, if you there's don't want to... There's a lot of substitution going on here because there's one liquor and it's and overproof it's, rum. It's overproof dark. Dark. It's not an over. It's not 151 from Bacardi. Maybe a Gosling? You could maybe do a Gosling? Yeah, you could probably use Gosling for this. I, it I mean, won't have the same molasses a, flavor. This Demerara rum, though. So. Yes. So Demerara rum and a Demerara sugar is going to have a Demerara flavor. You're going to get that molasses uh, yes. heavy uh, sweetness right. to it as now, opposed to just an overpowering uh, glucose right. super it, sweetness. Now, if you hate my soul, what you could do is you could just go and get like a uh, sugar in the raw or some turbinado sugar or whatever. You can, or a Demerara sugar and... Throw in a blender with simple a simple syrup that water. shit up. Oh no, yeah, you can boil it. You can cold yeah. boil if you want to. I've been go blending in my Ninja, my simple syrups. Oh really? So I made some Demerara simple syrup. It works one. fine. Works fine. I throw it in a little, like a, a cup of each. Mm -hmm. I know I should do it by weight, but I don't have a scale yet. So a, a little more sugar than water. Uh, in the Ninja bullet blender. Yeah. And I just. Bzz, 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 do you add in vodka to it to keep it? Stable? No, I don't, because I'm going to go through it before a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you drink your simple I, syrups I, within time, it doesn't matter. So. Uh, on the stability of simple syrup, I was reading something on Camper English's blog about that. Uh, like a Does one he look like me. He looks a little like you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, uh, what, what's the name of his uh, Alatrosity, Alacrosity, or something like that? G Google Camper English. He's got his own blog. He's big in bitters. He's big in the alcohol. Yeah, world. It, it's. But um, the, the he did a little test on the stability of simple syrup, and basically a one to one simple syrup with no vodka lasted about a month. Mm -hmm. A. You want a two to one to get longer, right? A two to one lasted about six months. Dude, my two a to two one. A two to one with vodka lasted longer than six months. I don't even know what my two to one is. And a one to one with a shot of vodka in it lasted about three months. So you get a right. lot of stability out of putting some vodka in. And the reason, the way he was measuring it, if I remember right, was the formation or the appearance of like the mold that forms when simple syrup goes bad. Yes, that's how. Yeah, exactly. So, and I've had that happen where you get yeah. you, it looks like little black uh, yeah, yeah, specks yeah. inside your simple syrup, and then there's a swirl, kind of like a tail. Kind of looks like a really overgrown sperm. Um, that's not appetizing. I don't know what it is. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Whoa. <laughs> so that's how I usually tell. But I that stopped happening when I started adding both two to one. By the way, which I used to say I'd rather go one to one because then I could just add double, but you're adding more water. Right. The two to one has not definitely double. lasted. Not double. No, More and a half right. times. Yeah, whatever. Rounding, rounding <laughs> error. Uh, but it. The, That's the, only fifty percent rounding error. It's okay. <laughs> 50 That's really scientifically invalid. <laughs> exactly. It's not significant. If I'm gonna shoot you in the face with this rich friend, she has to be to do it. Uh, no, like the the this rich simple syrup has lasted a lot longer. It's created some cool ice crystal or some sugar crystals at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Like like uh, looks like aftershock. Oh, like. I don't know if there's any in here. There's some in here. No, that's yeah, that's the one. So this 
is actually more thick than the original simple syrup that was in here from Stirrings, which is yeah. said to be too uh, rich simple syrup. Sounds but like you can see two like to one a, ratio of an ice crystal sugar formation. Sugar to water. Yeah. But not really ice crystals because there's no it's, ice in it. Sugar it, crystals. Sugar crystals. Which look rock candy. Yeah. Right? And it looks really cool. It does. This is not going to give you the same taste as that. And now, that's going to last longer. Than this? Yeah, because you this think is so? A, I don't know how long it's. Well, I, it depends I what the ratio really, is. Yeah, I don't. And so he has that, other stuff. In there. The higher the sugar ratio, the right. longer it's going to last, but you don't want it to be too high because it's going to work water. Sugar, We're getting too sugar scientific. Sugar. For in any case, you can buy that on awesomedrakes.com if you don't want yes. to. You can make your own. Uh, you're going to need this product to make it taste like the way we're explaining it. You can use, if you have Black Seal uh, 151, you could probably pull it off. It's probably going to have a little bit more richer taste to it because that yep. seems to be more of a richer like flavored product. It is. This yeah. has more of a dark molasses, like similar Demer to this type flavor. of demerara. It's, it's the same same base, right? right? Yeah, so the fermentable is the same in here as this. Uh, Oddly flavor. enough, though, this is kind of addicting to drink. Like it, I just want to keep taking it's sips. The, on. It's the the lime juice because it's that acidity that makes you want to yeah, drink more. It's, it's, right? it's bringing me back. I wonder. Do you have a salt like tincture down here? Ruined. Who? No, so, I, I, it went uh, bad. <laughs> the whole food. I was reading, reading something about the salt too, which is interesting. Yeah, which would be tough in here since it's all ice now. Mm, yeah. uh, but not, anyway. not hard to make. No, it's very simple. I mean, you only need one alcohol, which is This great. is a poolside drink as long as you're never going yeah. swimming. It's like, a poolside drink that you drink a bottle of water between drinks. Yeah, because it's 151 proof, but it's only an ounce and a half. So you could probably get away with one or two of these yeah. and then take a break and then go back into them. <laughs> and then take a break. <laughs> it, it's like reps. Yeah. It's not a session cocktail. <laughs> oh, no, not really. Isn't you're not gonna sit in town five of these. No, you can once. Well, you can. And, 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 bad and night. You can regret it the next day. Right. So you're gonna be in the pool with your pants now. Question of the day. Oh, I don't need drinks for that. We haven't asked questions all week, and this is the first episode. So. All right. <laughs> question of the day. Um, what? I don't know what I was gonna say. What do you think of traffic? Which favorite over, overproof liquor? Yeah, do you have an overproof preference? What is your favorite there, product that's overproofed? Overproof meaning above 40%. Above, 40%. Yeah, above your core spirit. So, uh, 100 proof vodkas. Yep. Um, there's Pinnacle, I know, there's has there's one. There's higher proof uh, whiskeys and ryes, right. uh, scotches. This is true. Barrel, a, barrel, barrel proof, or yep. what do they call it? Cast, cast, cast strength. strength. Cast strength um, is usually overproofed. Mm -hmm. uh, so, it doesn't have to be in the, in the rum category. What do you think? And here's the thing. Can you make something with it? Yeah. Pouring 151 into a shot to light on fire, that's not that's counting. That's not a cocktail. I'm talking like a cocktail that tastes good. Yeah. This is a cocktail that tastes good. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the, the sugar in the Demerara is a strength. And it's funny because the only alcohol is 151. So I would Very not... rare to see an overproof product like that as his main component. Being good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Pirates yeah. or ninjas? Pirates or ninjas? <laughs> ninjas. Uh, pirates or ninjas? We're ninjas. martial artists. I really on. like ninjas. Yeah. yeah. Pirates are cool. The pirates are cool. But yeah. a ninja's gonna win. Wait, in a fight or just in coolness? It depends. Is it dark out? Good point. Ninja's gonna win. Uh, is it on a boat? Pirates gonna win. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, is it on a boat at night? Alright. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> so there you go. Everydaydrinkers.com. Awesome drinks if you want to get yourself some calls glasses. So uh, measuring your BG Reynolds here. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The BG Reynolds is definitely right yeah. up there. Those are the things you can get your, there. Your bar spoons. You can get a There's good ways bar to spoon. spur with the professional bar spoons and swizzle. But I, I get yeah, you get some swizzle yeah. sticks. That's fine. We're done. Yeah. We're good. Oh, go for your. Lemon squeezes. AwesomeDrinks.com. Yeah. Right there. Bunch We're, of stuff. That's it. We're teaching you how to drink. It's orange, citrus. But yet sweet and yet tart. Mm. Take a breakfast drink. Mm. 